so this is how I end so this is how I ended up with a beautiful Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus with a very terrible display where the colors are so desaturated and uh, very very sad so let me tell you what you need to know before you buy the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus I have a very comprehensive review of 9 plus reasons why you need to buy the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus one it still has a 3.5 millimeter earphone jack it has dual speakers it feels really good it has an infinity O display I don't use any screen protector on it the screen is very good the glass is great the display is excellent super AMOLED display it has four gigs no it has six gigs of RAM actually and this variant comes with a 64 gig storage but I've been able to expand it with an SD card to 256 gigs of storage it has two cameras at the back really really great cameras for low light photography and even nighttime photography it has a good fingerprint sensor though it's pretty close to the camera and can smudge the camera and you can use the fingerprint sensor to quickly unlock your device and another feature that you can use it to swipe your notification panel down and access all your notifications and then even your quick you know settings on the control panel over here so the samsung galaxy S9 Plus is a really excellent phone. The design, the build quality is awesome. It's made of glass and metal and even has glass at the back. So it has fast wireless charging as well. Fast charging comes straight out of the box and even comes with the fast charging adapter. I don't have a lot of issues with this phone. But then recently, like in December 2019, I was driving and the weather was very, very, very hot. And the, the phone had a message which says that the screen was kind of overheating so i put it off when i put it on i came back like this very desaturated i'm not using any filters or any color correction on this this is how it looks like and what i noticed is like if it's on low brightness you can hardly see the screen and you have these lines moving over the screen so if you want to get rid of them you need to increase the brightness now watch as i increase the brightness when it gets to a certain level these lines appear at the top of the phone and then that screen disappears like the display goes and as i increase it the lines keep increasing so i get to like the highest brightness before I can use my phone comfortably to a certain degree, but then still it has sort of lost the colors. Here I have an iPhone X and you can see how vibrant the display is as compared to the Galaxy S9 Plus, which has what they call OLED burn in. Okay, so I hear this is something which comes with OLED devices, LCD devices will not have this kind of issue. So if you do intend to buy a Samsung Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, S10, S8, any kind of device which uses an OLED technology for the display, then this is something you need to know can actually affect the display, okay? Now, for me, I know exactly what happened for this to happen. So because I do mobile phone reviews and mobile app reviews and I work alone, Sometimes you want to, like, you are reviewing an app. So let's say I'm reviewing the freelancer app and I don't want the screen to go off. So what I did was to turn on, you know, increase the display on time. So you come to display and then you increase the time that the display is on. So the screen timeout, I set it to the highest, which was 10 minutes so that I could do all my review without the phone going off and having to come and turn it on and off and all those things. And after some time, I noticed that this is what it caused. So if you do get one of these phones, don't make the same mistake that I did. Don't leave the display on, especially on a static screen like the home screen here, you know, this static screen, don't leave it on like this. It was going to burn and you are going to lose the quality of your display and these displays are very expensive to replace so don't make that same mistake and in my next video i'm going to show you how you can actually sort of like um how you can get over or find a fix for all lead burning and you can recover your samsung galaxy or other oled device so perhaps you're having the same thing the first thing you can do is to just increase the brightness and once you increase the brightness you should be fine and the thing is once it goes off like this and i take my hands off if you are not used to your phone and you don't know where the brightness indicator is like this it will be pretty difficult for you to 
you know find the knob or the slider and then increase it but i kind of know where it is so i can just guess and try it but i don't ever want to leave it at this portion or at this portion because the screen will go off entirely so and most of the time i use the phone on the highest setting and it's not too good of a look you know it's not too nice you can't create content with this if you're a content creator because you can't guarantee that the output of the color you are seeing is what your client is going to see or what your audience is going to see so this is something that you need to know if you are considering to buy the samsung galaxy s9 plus or any other kind of samsung device or any other smartphone which uses an oled display when you buy it make sure you don't leave the screen on for a very long time reduce the limit of the screen display timeout and you should be fine you should be fine don't let it overheat as well maybe you're living in a country like ghana where you can't do much about overheating but just try to keep it like in the shade or something and you would be able to use your phone for longer. So if you're new to my channel, I do mobile phone reviews, mobile app reviews, and I bring to you amazing affordable gadgets. So if you like that kind of content, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next one, especially when we do the OLED fix. Thanks, be brave.